So, so many of you have done this. We can't get to all of them because we get so many questions in. But everybody on this list has indeed emailed questions for Dutch at gmail.com. And here is the first one. It's from Jimmy Leon. And he says, how hard were punches actually thrown, especially to the face or forehead? Was everyone pulling their punches or did some hit harder than others? Thanks. Oh, yeah. Some guy knocked the crap out of you. Uh, listen, I, I've said this before, the wrestler's motto, do no harm. But some of them didn't know. But see, it, it, it's not the punches to the head. It's the chops that you get. Some of those chops were as hard as they could be. Like, Stan Hansen hitting you with those chops. Oh, he just blistered you. And in Wahoo McDaniel hitting you with those chops or Johnny Valentine, it was just brutal because you could hear it all over the arena. Now, the punches to the face, yeah, I've taken a few. And the first one, you let it go. It was a mistake. The second one uh, is do a receipt. And I've, I've sent a lot of receipts out because a guy, if he hits you hard, he knows he hits you hard. And he expects to get a receipt, <clears throat> which I've delivered. Boom. And he, then he'd say, well, I guess we're even. Yeah, I guess we are. But I'd always say, no, you hit me harder <laughs> I, than I hit you. <clears throat> but, but yeah, they were, it was according to who, who you were in the ring with. Now, if you was in the ring and I said on, <clears throat> on the regular podcast about the uh, Samoans, you never knew they were there. They were lighter than air. And it's hard to believe a guy's that big and that massive could be so easy. If they wanted to be. If they didn't want to be, very little they could they could lay on you. Hey, if they just got you down laying on you, you couldn't get up. You'd be blown up trying to get, get out from under them. <clears throat> but yeah, some punches were kind of stiff. Who'd expect you to hit them the hardest? I, I I remember you saying a couple of things before on Gypsy Joe, Tommy Dreamer. I remember those two names. Were there anybody else out there that just wanted you to just lay it in as hard as possible? Mm, no. Those guys were unique. <laughs> because, first of all, I was with Gypsy Joe one night and he was going to get a get a chair, and I got it first because I didn't want him to get it because he'd use it, and I know what he'd do with it. If he got the chair, he would wear me out, so I would get it first, then I'd throw it outside the ring. So he'd have to go to it to get it, and then I'd have time to recover. Joe would hit you with the ring so hard, he would, he would shake your foundation. Jeff. Now, he wouldn't hit you in the head. He'd hit you in the back. God. He just kill you. So, and I don't know if somebody told Joe it was real or not, but <clears throat> again, it was like me wrestling Brockus. It was like a, a street fight. Gypsy Joe, too. It was a street fight every time you got in the ring with him. Who had the worst aim? It's like, you know, you're supposed to punch, obviously, in a safe place, but who would just, like, smash you in the teeth or the nose? Well... Some you got to protect yourself. You know, if a guy's going to hit you, you turn your head this way. So if he does hit you, it's going to glance off. So as soon as he hits you, you you you're, you're selling the punch anyway. So there was a lot of guys that would stand handsome. He went. I think uh, uh, Bradshaw. He he was pretty tough with it because he liked it. He didn't mind you if you hit him hard. He didn't care. So he'd dish it out, but he could take it too. 